Now, from the Socialist Alternative and a Monash University student coming to us from Trades Hall, Declan Murphy joins us. Mr Murphy, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Now, can I just ask, what, what is it like being a socialist in the modern day? And I'll just preface this question by saying, I went to the Soviet Union in 1987. There was not one thing I saw there that made me think that socialism was a good idea. What do you like about it so much? Um, well, I think... Um I think if you look at capitalism today around the world, there, there's a million reasons to be a socialist. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying, have you, have you ever seen a genuinely socialist country as I have? I don't think what you saw was a genuinely socialist country. Well, um, it, we, it, we, we don't think that um, what they had in the Soviet Union was socialist. Well, um, well, but, but you're aware of the USSR, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics? Yes, I, I am aware of that, yep. Right, so <laughs> even though they call themselves socialism, and even though the Russians invented socialism, it wasn't socialism. Well, the governments can call themselves all sorts of things. Socialism is, is a system of democracy. Uh, it's not a system of one-party dictatorships. But I don't think that, that anything that happened in Russia should be used as an excuse for the sort of uh, horribly unequal and undemocratic society that we have today okay, around the world. Well, let's try another one. I, I went to the People's Republic of China in 1983. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that was socialist then, most definitely. It still calls itself socialist these days. They say socialist with Chinese characteristics. Um, is China a, a, a good version of socialism? No, we don't think those countries are socialist at all. We think socialism, as I've explained, is about democracy, which you don't have um, in those countries. So, yeah. Okay, and yet uh, we, do, we do, of course, get to vote here, don't we? Yeah, but it's not yeah. just about the vote, is it? Be all right, tell us about the protest today. What were you protesting against? Hmm, Declan Murphy gone. Declan Murphy is back with us from the Socialist Alternative. Uh, Mr Murphy, what were you protesting against today? Well, we were protesting today um, against the inquiry that has been launched by Tony Abbott and by Christopher Pine uh, into the tertiary education sector in Australia. This is an inquiry that is going to yield uh, regressive results um, for the tertiary education sector, which include the maintenance of the um, $2.3 billion worth of funding cuts that were brought in by the Labor government earlier this year, um, as well as a range of other things like the abolition of the student services and amenities fee and potentially um, the privatisation of Hexted and the capping of university placements in Australia, Tell all of which are, are attacks on um, student rights and, um, and the university sector. Well, well, I would say, actually say that the fee is a tax, so in a sense that they get rid of the fee, they're getting rid of a tax. But leaving that aside, when the Labor government, the Labor Greens government, back in April announced the $2.3 billion cuts, did you protest back then? We did. We organised several very large demonstrations. Um, some of the largest demonstrations in more than 10 years, in fact. Um, and we're committed to protesting against any government that wants to uh, cut uh, billions of dollars out of higher education. Did you, did you burn the then Prime Minister Julia Gillard in effigy? Um, oh, I can't recall exactly what happened at those demonstrations, but um, they were equally as... Uh, boisterous and loud and angry as today's demonstration was, I can assure you. Do, do you think it's appropriate to burn an effigy of the Prime Minister? I think that it is uh, an appropriate reflection of the anger that a lot of students feel in this country, that we have a government that views education as a commodity, as something that, that can be cut and thrown on the scrap heap just in order to get uh, the surplus back in balance. Uh, meanwhile, we have people like Gina Reinhart uh, running around making billions and billions of dollars every single year uh, with a disgracefully low corporate taxation rate. Um, we don't see the government uh, moving towards taxing them anymore. Instead, we see them cutting back on our education rights. Well, I think you'll find Australia's corporate taxation rate is in about the middle of the OECD uh, comparisons. Not, it's not disgracefully low. But uh, look, uh, we, we've heard the protest started peacefully but degenerated into violence. Um, how many people did you see arrested? Um, we understand that there were about eight arrests made. Eight now? Yes, that's what we think. OK. I is that something you're proud of? Well, it's not a matter of pride, it's a matter of the response of the Victorian police to uh, a demonstration that they knew was taking place. They were aware... Well, wait a minute, if, the police, if, someone behave, if people behave badly, it's appropriate for the police to arrest them. No, but the police had been in, uh, notified in advance of what would be happening at the demonstration. Yes, but just... They had okayed that, and then they proceeded to make several arrests in spite of that fact. So clearly they'd come along with an agenda of making a series of arrests at this demonstration to intimidate the student movement and to intimidate the protesters. I, I, I think you'll find that the police are more than happy for demonstrations to take place. They just don't like violent ones. Uh, for example, Joe Hockey, who we're hoping to speak with later on in the program, uh, I think he reckons he was probably intimidated by some of the protesters. Well, may maybe he feels like that. But again, uh, he's part of a, a government and part of a cabinet that is making significant cutbacks um, on our education. And I think that 
uh, you know, if he wants to be able to uh, to go about doing his job peacefully, then he should think twice before doing those sorts of things as well. Oh, so what you're saying is if he, if he wants a peaceable time, but he shouldn't be allowed to make decisions that he thinks are in the best interest of the public, that, that in fact policy should be, should be dictated by using violent force by, by groups such as yours? It wasn't in, in any violent force at all. Uh, we, we were simply making our voice heard to a treasurer who has displayed a, a totally high-handed and dismissive attitude toward the student movement. This inquiry that they've launched by Abbott, Pine and, and Hockey uh, has not asked for student consultation. They haven't asked for our opinion on whether or not we'd like $2.3 billion, $2 billion cut out of higher education um, or any of the other regressive uh, policies that, they've, that I alluded to earlier. So they've just gone ahead... Um, and, and launched it. So uh, uh, we, we you, feel like demonstrating on the streets is the only possible way that we have to make our voices heard. We've also had reports that shoes have been thrown at the Liberal Party's offices. Um, was that done by, by any of your people? Yeah, the, the demonstration uh, did throw shoes symbolically to, um, to demonstrate our, our distaste for what the government is doing. Again, this is something that the police were notified of in advance and had okayed. So that's something you, you've copied from the, the Arab protesters who threw shoes at, I think, uh, George Bush and, and John Howard. It is. It's something of a, a symbol, I think, for, for people who feel disenfranchised um, by the mainstream political process that clearly is not representing our needs and our desires, um, and we need to make our voices heard in some other way. Tell me, did, did you tell the police in advance that you were going to chuck shoes? We did, yes. And what did they say about that? They okayed it. They okayed it, did they? Yeah, they did. So what, 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 what behaviour occurred that the police were not happy with? Well, that's what we're not sure about, to be honest, because... Um, at that point on Exhibition Street outside the Liberal Party headquarters, um, that's when the police started attacking the demonstration. After they first attacked the demonstration and arrested a protester um, who they injured in the process and wouldn't tell us where they were being taken to, we decided as a demonstration to march down to the East Melbourne Police Station where we would like to make a formal complaint. Um, on the way, the police again okayed that. They said that would be fine. On the way down to the East Melbourne Police Station, uh, they attacked the demonstration on four or five separate occasions, making, again, four or five separate arrests. No, no, when you say the police attacked you, what do you mean? Uh, I, I mean it quite literally. I mean that they gathered together um, and they launched themselves into uh, the crowd of people and they picked off individuals. OK, do you think we'll ever see a, a, a true socialist country here in Australia? I think we can only hope. Well, again, I've seen it re in real life, and I can tell you it is not something you want. We'll leave it there. Declan Murphy from the Socialist Alternative in Monash University. Thank you for your time. Thank you. See ya. As Winston Churchill said, if you're 20 and you're not a socialist, you have no heart. I think it's if you're 40 and you're still a socialist, you have no brain.